Hi children, how are you? Yes, I hope you all are really all right and perfectly all right and you all are enjoying the these all videos. Okay, so in this video we are going to uh, start with the next part of the last video. Okay, so in the last video already we have discussed these two herbivorous and the carnivorous okay we have discussed we know the definition we know the examples of these two types of animals in this video we are going to discuss the third type of the animals that is omnivorous okay in the first type uh, of animals we know that only the these animals will eat the plants products plants and the plant products and in second type of animals uh, these animals will not at all going to touch the plants or any plant product but these are going to eat the flesh of the other animal they are they will kill the other animal and they will eat the flesh and meat of the other animal but what about this omni this name indicates something different this says that omnivorous means there is a group of animals in this group in this group there are some animals they will eat both both as well as plant and as well as meat of the uh, other animals for example uh, we call they are these animals are vegetarian also non-vegetarian also in this the human being is the best example. See, there are many of us, we have the habit of eating non-veg also. We will eat chicken, mutton, isn't it? And fish and the seafood, whatever the animals we get in the sea, we will take that one and we will cook and we will eat. Human, and even we are going to eat the plant products also. We will eat the fruits, we will eat the vegetables, we will eat the grains, grams, and the leafy vegetable, fruits, seeds. These are all things we are going to eat. Along with that, sometimes we may eat the chicken, mutton, and the seafood, and the fish. So, the human being will come in a third group. That is, he is going to, human being is going to lie in the third group. That is, in the group of omnivorous animals. Other than this, see, you can see dog. Dog will eat. If you give chapatis to dog, rice to dog, or some rotis to dog, it will eat. Bread also it is going to eat. Where, when, uh, whereas, this bread, chapati, roti, and the rice, these are purely plant products. Isn't it? Even if you keep mutton, chicken for this dog, no, it is going to eat. Even it is going to eat uh, whichever the, um, uh, if uh, some fish body is lying on the, some other place or some other animal's body is lying on after dead, it is lying on it, this dog will go and eat, isn't it? Then the dog also will come in a omnivorous group of animal. Then the cat, same, the, just like a dog, even cat will eat both. It will drink milk also and it will uh, eat chapati also it will eat some type of sometimes it will eat rice also and even if it get the meat or the flesh or um, uh, like other animals dead body it will go and eat that also because of this the cat will come in the group of omnivorous then the birds even the birds also see the birds are going to eat the uh, fruits also some uh, other grains and grams also and it will eat if you give some piece of chapatis it will eat and uh, if you give uh, some other food items the birds are going to eat even other than that these birds are going to eat they are going to kill the insects and uh, they are going to eat the uh, fishes uh, from the water and it, they will kill the, some other insects and they are going to eat this also means dead bodies of the other animals also and the shark whale these are going to eat the small uh, fish which are present in the water they will eat the whole uh, another one animal body itself to survive for themselves then um, these are going to come under the third group that is omnivorous it is these animals will eat both plant and plant products animal and animal products i hope now you got a clear picture about all the three types of groups of animals depending upon their eating habit herbivorous carnivorous and the omnivorous now next we will see the food chain how the food chain is interlinked This food chain 
directly or indirectly each of us are have dependent on the grass or the plants first grass okay grasshopper grasshopper and then grasshopper is eaten by frog and then frog is eaten by snake and the snake is eaten by eagle okay so like this we have a food chain directly or indirectly every uh, animal on this earth they are dependent on the grass or the plants or the plants the plants are ultimate source of the energies got now see for example um, uh, grasshopper will eat the grass and then the grasshopper is eaten by the frog which is a insect frog will kill and which is going to eat the grasshopper and then the snake will eat the frog you might have seen in the tv mobile in the pictures how the snake is going to swallow the whole frog and after that this eagle will eat the snake it means what one animal is killing or depending on another animal for their survival or for their food but ultimately from the previous what is the uh, source of our uh, food then our plants are source of our food so i hope you got a clear picture about the food chain the food chain so like this chain system like this chain for the, uh, this chain we call as a food chain another one also we can say uh, the deer the grass is eaten by the deer grass deer then deer is eaten by the tiger isn't it so like this only this chain will continue again um, again in, uh, indirectly every animal that may be the herbivores that may be the carnivores that may be the omnivores every animal is going to depend on the plants and the plant products i hope in today's video whatever we have discussed we have understood but before ending this video i want to give you some homework so you can write uh, draw a food chain two food chains okay you can draw a food chain and then you can write the definition that is what are omnivores and you can write the minimum five uh, questions okay i hope you will do the homework and in the next lesson we will discuss the next further information of this lesson